Hi guys, so today we are going to talk about how I migrated a live database. Yes, so let me tell you the story a little bit behind the story. So what happened is that initially we were using Google Cloud's, what do you say, big data or whatever you want to call it call it so it became like it was good but it became really expensive it was expensive querying all those data and so what this data what are the data which we are posting it's basically data from iot devices which collect some sensor humidity pm2 and all that stuff and they send this data every few seconds and there are lot of devices so you can imagine how much effort it will take to migrate to another database. So then we decided that let's use Postgres and we initially hosted it on our own, like on our own server manually we deployed the Postgres server and it was doing okay -ish. Unless, like until, not unless, until the data became huge and querying it like the, we were just using just one table to store all the data of different channels, different devices. So it, it became pro a problem. It became really slow. It was taking minutes to query one device. Can you imagine? Okay, so then what I came up with, like there are pretty uh, some of the ways which you can use to split your data so that the database is not getting crashed or whatever. So uh, what I decided, decided for like uh, why we are storing all the channels in one table, instead what we will do, we will store all the channels in their separate table. So for channel one, there will be another table for the channel two, there will be another table. So, I mean, there will be bunch of tables. So one benefit would be like, we will be only querying a uh, one table. Yeah, so it was fine for few months or so. Then when we were using the where clause and doing filtering and stuff, it again became really slow like when the table became large the table became around one gigabyte so yeah then the like a story is like oh what we should do then uh, we migrated to manage database like the same postgres database to google cloud like google cloud offers a managed postgres sql instance okay you you get my point so then then what we like yeah that was again it was costing a lot it was really slow also then like to avoid that slowness we indexed the meta fields and the some of the other fields like uh, ids and created at timestamps Okay, so then it was like working okay, -ish, but yeah, it was not good experience and we were paying a lot because like around we were using for just this much, like we were paying for 8 GB of RAM and I don't know, some amount of processor. So it was again, not ideal. So this is the background which I'm giving you. Like, I'll tell you how we migrated. Then uh, we did some research and we found out like time scale DB is the choice for such applications where we store time based events like that. So the concept in time scale database is that they are keeping stuffs in hyper tables. They are like, they have modified Postgres to utilize it as a no SQL, something like MongoDB, which scales infinitely and which is pretty fast. And so that like, so what it does is, yeah, as I said, it creates hyper table. So it is concept like uh, they will divide your tables into stuff. And when you query based on time, so it will be really fast. So we already had the indexes first. 
so in time scale the index uh, the primary key becomes the time yes when we create it the primary key becomes the time so that was okay so we were okay with this migration because uh, all the queries of postgres will be working there so first it was big data the codes were written for that then i migrated to postgres sql so i wrote all the postgres queries then again i switched to streams while downloading data then i again migrated from sqlize to nextjs because they were the only one who were supporting streams so i have a like uh, i'll be uh, showing in a, another video it will be soon like how performance the performance between streaming data and loading everything in ram and then just sending it okay so it 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 was not a great experience but yeah let's let's move forward so then okay we were like okay time scale db is great there was also influx db but they like showed in their charts and benchmarks that this is better than influx db because like one more thing was a uh, big plus was we did not have to write all of our code for influx they use something called flux okay so if you are migrating from postgres then time scale db is the go to it is open source influx is open source too and they offer a managed cloud service okay so we went with the managed cloud so they'll give you everything you select the ram cpu how much storage you need they also have auto scaling so if you need more storage it will be scaled automatically okay so all right uh, the thing was the devices were active they were sending data so i can't just go and change the database right what will happen to the old data which is in the postgres database in google cloud okay all right so listen what happened then it's not easy so the instructions on time scale db was not so great because we did uh, google cloud doesn't give you the super admin stuff so you can't like just copy and put the data so uh, i wrote the query select a star and like uh, past csv option and all the like i had to write a script because there were 20 30 tables because as i said i made it like that so then i wrote a node script i got all the channels and i looped it and i executed the command using the node exec exec async exec whatever you want to call it so yeah it was cool so all the csv data was downloaded so first you need to is download the schema as well uh, that was fine like if you go into the docs you can just export the schema it is cool so schema is not a problem but the problem was exporting the data so we exported that data and then like it was lot uh, as i said one file was uh, over 1 gb so then uh, again i wrote like a script to loop and create tables the schema i ran so it created the table then i had to alter the table because in in postgres the primary key was id but in time scale database you have to make the time primary key so we had to make the alter all the tables and make created at primary key yeah that's cool okay and uh, now what happens next is we create hyper tables after creating all those tables even if you are migrating to any database so this would be the process so first you back up your schema there is something called pg backup i don't know yeah there are some tools which i'll link uh, okay so what happened is i backed up the schema then i downloaded all the csvs yes i did select a star and then i redirected the output in a file yes yes and all the csvs were created then uh, again i had to create 
like upload all these table after creating hyper table so in the same script i created hyper tables first you need to keep the tables empty while creating hyper table so you can't put any data in that okay so yeah that was it like we created hyper tables but the main thing was to like so let's suppose we backed it up we uploaded to the time scale db then it, it, it's it sounds good we we are good there so we upload it but the thing is when i will change the database url and whatever the code changes i need to do i did i tested so if i do that change in production like right so there will be some data gap right when i downloaded that data and uploaded it to time scale db so to do that like what you need to do is if you are migrating so you will have to download at the same time everything was ready i set up the envs and all that stuff everything was ready yeah so i downloaded the csv i uploaded to the time scale db and at just right after that i pushed my code to the server and it reloaded i was using pm2 so it manages without any downtime so that all the data you send like there will be some loss obviously the time which it took me to download so i downloaded like half uh, most of the data earlier but while moving you should do this because if your data is large it will take lot of time but if it is only for couple of minutes or couple of hours of data it will be less so that you can easily download and upload it back and then just restart your server with the new code or whatever you want to call it with new database so it will work right this is the like trick which you have to do so the trick is download almost all of it first then back it up to the database the time scale database in my case it was then again keep the track of id till which id you downloaded then after that select it again and download after that export it csv then upload it to the time scale database i am just calling it the new database you can call the new database and then right after that just push the upload i mean push your code to server and you will be good to go trust me use pm2 if you are using node js or python because it will in no downtime it will reload your server yeah so i hope you learned something from this there are more videos coming soon so i hope you enjoyed it you liked it uh, there will be lot of more content soon 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 so i hope you have a great day keep creating stuff keep destroying stuff bye bye i hope to see you soon